Have you ever wondered why the relationships you keep experiencing just seem to be nothing but trouble? In today's video, I'm going to give you five mistakes that you make when you leave toxic relationships. If that's something that you're interested in, then stick around. Hello there, welcome or welcome back to my little corner of the internet. If you're just seeing my face for the first time, my name is Teddy and this space has been created so that you could learn exactly how to give yourself the health and happiness that you deserve simply by overall putting yourself first. To receive the best advice on self-love, health, happiness, and overall learning how to navigate toxic relationships, hit the subscribe button down below and click the notification bell to receive notifications whenever I post a new video every Monday. When we leave certain relationships, we are doing a really, really good thing by leaving situations behind that could, in other words, destroy us. But what good is that doing if we leave one bad relationship and we end up with the same exact relationship just with a different person? This is a common pattern that I've heard people go through when they leave certain relationships and then they end up having another bad relationship and then they wonder why it just seems like a snowball effect of many different bad relationships and sometimes they get worse over time. So in this video, I want to give you five mistakes that we often make once we leave toxic relationships. The first mistake we make when we leave toxic relationships is that we immediately get into another relationship. We have not had enough time separated from another person. We haven't had enough time to give ourselves that space to just be alone. And that alone time is so, so important because you are reconnecting with who you are or who you were before the relationship. So if you are going from one relationship into another relationship and you haven't really given yourself a time, a, a space to even be able to breathe and just learn who you are again and learn how to reconnect with yourself again, um, that can carry on into the relationship. And so now you're taking everything from that relationship and you're taking it to another relationship and that can be really detrimental to your mental health because you are constantly wired to just being with another person and not really being able to just being in a place of healing and giving yourself that space and time to just be the second thing that we do is we bring our hurt from a past relationship with us so instead of leaving the hurt when we left the past relationship, we get into a new relationship and we don't give ourselves that time to heal and that time to process and exactly learn who we are and learn about our triggers. We take all of that over to the next relationship. So whenever our new partner does something that unintentionally triggers us, in your mind, it triggers something that you experienced in a past relationship and the same thing that that other person might be doing that's not supposed to be hurting you or they're not trying to hurt you it does hurt you or it triggers when another partner intentionally did it and that other partner hurt you because of it let me know if that makes sense but i'll give an example so if the other partner has a lot of friends and they like to hang out around certain times of the day or certain times in the evening that might trigger an alarm in you because you might have experienced the past partner going out at this time of the evening and doing things that were very disrespectful to you so now it's hard for you to experience that new partner in it's in their full capacity and it's hard for you to allow them to just be even though they're not trying to intentionally disrespect you you experienced something similar in that way that actually did hurt you that your past partner was doing so just not giving yourself enough time to heal and recognize what your triggers are and work through them will eventually spill over into that next relationship and it might end up being very messy when that relationship could have been a really good one and a really healthy relationship so just understanding your triggers understanding where your feelings about certain things stem from would really really help in your next relationship and that way it becomes a lot easier for you to communicate and also trust that new partner the third mistake we make is that we do not vet the next potential partner good enough to make sure that they are a good fit for our lives long term or short term if that's what you're looking for at the moment so we're not asking the proper questions and we're not paying attention to whether or not this person is a good fit for our lives 
um, with the certain ways that they react to things. We're not paying attention to certain traits that they have. Sometimes we are overlooking really big major red flags and a lot of those red flags can be seen just by asking certain questions so if you do have certain triggers or if there are certain things that you that you're bothered by it's important to ask questions about these specific things that way you know whether or not that person is deserving to even be in your life because these things that can be red flags or that you don't agree with they can become problems long term like who wants to argue and you know have different views from their partner for the rest of their lives if it's something that's really interfering with your day-to-day -day life so it's important to vet the person out just like at a job interview they ask you all types of off-the-wall questions to see if you're a good fit for this job even if you have the qualifications for that job so being with a partner is pretty much just that as well you want to make sure that you both are a good fit for one another the fourth mistake that we make is that we still don't have a blueprint of what we want our next relationship or our life partner to look like so we get out of relationships that show us clearly what we don't want anymore because we've experienced what we don't want and so now that's super duper clear so when we focus so much on that we still get like all types of hectic energy from the universe sometimes because we are still not clear on what we do want and we're still not focusing in on the positive and what we do want and understanding that now that we know what we don't want we need to clearly state what we do want so that way we can finally get it and it becomes an issue when you don't know exactly what you want because you just get thrown any type of thing sometimes. You get thrown any type of person sometimes that still may not resonate with where you are and where you're trying to go. So really, really focus and get down to the depths of the type of partner that you want, what they look like, what they smell like, what they walk like even sometimes, <laughs> and um, what's important to them. And really get clear on what you want out of that person how do you want them to make you feel how do you want to feel in that relationship whatever it is that you want i promise you it's out there but you have to put yourself on the mindset in order to be able to receive that and the first step of doing that is actually being super duper clear the fifth mistake that we make when leaving toxic relationships is treating everybody the same so a couple examples of this could be you just got out of a bad relationship with a man and you might think all men are the same or all men cheat and this is just an example of the type of conditioning that you've experienced through these relationships you might have had it happen over and over again so now you think that it's all men we allow our experiences to kind of shape our perspective as a whole on certain groups of people or just humans as a whole we might just think humans are just naturally bad and naturally out to get us and sometimes it can feel like that depending on what our experiences are but i want to tell you that it is not true and there are really amazing people out in this world but you have to be able to eventually get into a space of healing and also understanding that not everybody is genuinely bad in nature those were just the unfortunate experiences that we had in our lifetimes so when we get out of toxic relationships we might have the idea that the next person is going to be the same but unfortunately that kind of thinking can kind of bog us down and it puts us into a box of experiencing the same things again possibly changing the mindset is a really hard thing to do depending on what we've gone through but it's really important to go through that healing journey and that healing process so that way you can start to open that door again for people who will be really amazing and once you start that healing journey and you slightly crack that door open to start allowing people back in you'll see that the difference in the type of people that you see now versus the people that you saw then are slightly different and the new people that we're welcoming into our lives after we've given ourselves a time to heal our hearts those people can be very influential people and they could also help us along our healing journey if we're open to it 
So now I have a question for you. Have you experienced any of these mistakes while leaving a toxic relationship? Leave me a comment down below and let me know how you were able to handle it or navigate it if you did. Thank you so much for sticking with me until the end. If you're still here, I have a free gift for you. I created a guide that shows you exactly how you can attract more happiness into your life every single day just by following a few simple steps and all you have to do to get this guide is to go down to the description box below follow the link and enter your email address and it will be in your inbox a couple seconds after that don't forget to like comment and subscribe and hit the notification bell down below to be notified whenever i post another video just like this one check out these videos in the meantime and as always i wish you nothing but love health and happiness until next time, bye.